This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're building a portable hobby cart so you can work on your trains anywhere around your house. Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing a video based on an idea that a patron actually gave me and who it is is Daniel Banks over on my Patreon said that he asked me if I have anything where I have a modeling station that I can use in his, in a family area. He says he normally works in the basement but when I'm feeling like some family time while working on models I use a mobile workstation that I can take in the living room and work there. I'm currently working on adding better lighting to my rig and I used a gutted sewing machine cabinet as a work table. Just wondering if you had anything like that. Might be a good show topic. And that really got me thinking. I was like, okay. I was like, let's think about how we can build a mobile hobby station that's going to be affordable for most people and it's going to be something that's going to be easy to move around. So I took to looking around for some different parts and I've ended up building one for about 75 bucks minus obviously all the hobby materials and tools that you have. And the bottom line is that I was able to get something that I'm really happy with and you're going to see me using it a lot in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. My criteria for this cart were as follows. It needed to be compact, have a workspace built into it, affordable, needed to be on wheels, and have plenty of storage. After searching, I came across this cart for $36 on Amazon. It has three compartments and is on wheels, but its big draw was the removable top to use as a workspace. I also went to the dollar store and picked up a bunch of organizers for the cart. I bought about $11 worth of items. Now one must have supply for this also was a magnetic parts tray. And I bought this one online for seven bucks. I'll link it in the description below. I placed the organizers where I wanted them. I used the narrow ones for the top along with any low profile item. I put larger items on the middle along with a cup for tools and a water cup for washing brushes. I left the bottom open for large items such as big tools. I then hang this door hook on the side and this paint bucket on the middle tray as a grab and go supply holder. So that's everything that I bought for the cart. Now I have to show you how I organize it. I placed some large items in the bottom tray like a soldering gun and an airbrush. I put a small broom and dustpan on the side hook and a bunch of brushes and small tools in the top trays before replacing the top. I put a lot of scenery materials such as foam and glue in the middle as well as commonly used paints and tools. I also stash a power cord and a hot glue gun in the bottom. Now me personally, I like having some track on hand in the top tray in case I need to work on a locomotive or car and I need them resting on the track for the work. The last thing I purchased for this station was a four in one hobby station for $20. It has helping hands, an LED light with a flexible neck, a magnifying glass, and a soldering iron holder. The light on the LED can be battery powered or plugged in. The final thing I add are these large laundry spring clamps from the dollar store. These always come in handy for a bunch of things. And here is my fully loaded portable hobby station, ready to go anywhere that I want to work on stuff for my model railroad. So that is my little mobile hobby station that I can roll around that I can work on things while I'm with my family and do all sorts of things like that. And plus it's going to be great to have around here in case I need a little workbench to roll around to different areas of the layout. Again, I have all the parts linked in the description below and I did buy quite a few of them at the dollar store. So you can go ahead and just go try and find those at the dollar store because there's not really any specific links for shipping those. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I want to say a 
a big thank you to all of my patrons. They're listed right here. I would not have been able to do this video without my patrons. They're the ones that gave me the ideas for this video. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. A lot of cool things going on there. Plus you get a lot of access to give me ideas like this if you have something that you want to see on the channel. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. I'm getting hot. Well, it's that time of year again where you're going to see me sweating here because my studio is in the garage and it is officially getting to be over 90 degrees on some days here. So, yay!